The radio crackled with static. Then, a woman's voice. This is Irena Sendler, and I'm about to do something impossible. Warsaw, 1942. The Nazi occupation had turned the Jewish ghetto into a living tomb. 200,000 people crammed into three square miles, starving, diseased, waiting for deportation to death camps. Arena worked for the Polish underground, a petite social worker with fierce eyes and an unbreakable spirit. While other citizens looked away, she saw human beings, children, facing certain death. Her plan was audacious. She would smuggle children out of the ghetto, right under Nazi soldiers' noses. Some children hidden in toolboxes, some in burlap sacks, some carried beneath her coat, perfectly silent. She bribed guards, created false documents, transformed Jewish children into Catholic orphans. Each rescue was a heart-stopping dance with death. One wrong move meant execution, not just for her, but potentially her entire family. Her network of resistance fighters helped. Priests, nuns, everyday Polish citizens who refused to accept Nazi brutality. They created an underground railroad of survival, moving children through sewers, secret passages, and hidden compartments in vehicles. By war's end, Arena had saved 2,500 children. She buried their real names in jars beneath an apple tree, hoping someday they could reclaim their identities. The Nazis eventually arrested her. They broke her feet and legs during interrogation, but she never revealed a single name. After being sentenced to death, she was rescued by the Polish resistance. She continued her work, living quietly, her heroism unknown for decades. I was brought up to believe that a person must be rescued when drowning, she would later say, regardless of religion and nationality. In 1999, her story finally emerged. The world discovered a tiny woman who had looked evil in the face and said, not these children, not today. Her legacy wasn't just survival. It was radical compassion in humanity's darkest moment, proving that courage has no size, no limit, no boundary. When others saw numbers, she saw souls.